My name is Matt Limpock. I'm one of the electrical engineers at Multilink. I'm here to talk about the Street Bright sign and the Multilink Multi Tech Talk. The Multilink Street Bright sign has been designed and engineered to address the needs of the traffic industry, improving reliability, accessibility, and visibility. The Street Bright sign can be field serviced by one person. Tool free entry allows for fast and simple maintenance. Interior components are replaceable in the field. 500% longer bulb life, LED bulb technology lasts up to 500% longer without the need to do costly field changeouts, providing 10 plus years of bulb life. 65% lighter weight. The Street Bright sign is constructed of aircraft grade 8 gauge aluminum. The lighter weight allows for ease of installation and maintenance as well as safer working conditions. Go green with 20% more energy efficiency in power and power usage and capable of solar assistance, the Street Bright sign allows for a greener planet. More compact size, utilizing advanced internal technology, the Street Bright sign is 50 to 75% narrower in width and uses less material. Upgradable in the field, Single-sided street bright signs are upgradable, interchangeable to double-sided signs without needing to replace the original single-sided sign. Less load. Designed to have less stress and load on the physical mounting hardware, our structurally secure signs withstand a wind load force of over 150 miles per hour wind speeds. Unmatched in the industry, the street bright sign is two-thirds the weight of other signage. The Street Bright sign is made with an aluminum frame, welded heavy duty brackets rated to 150 mile per hour winds. Uh, it's weatherproof and uses the 3M reflective materials. Uh, and it is more rugged and durable than the competitor signs. This particular Street Bright sign is shown with all of the available bracket mounting options. We have the top brackets and we also have the face brackets. Um, so this would be shown with all of the available options for mounting the sign. The street right sign with its aluminum construction is 50 to 75% narrower than similar signs. It's also lighter. The lighter mass, the lighter weight, is less stress on the brackets and the mounting hardware. Signs are available in widths of 48 inches, 72 inches and 96 inches with a height of 18 or 24 inches and a depth of two inches. The Street Bright sign is available with multiple mounting options. There is a free swinging bracket and a rigid mounting option. The free swinging bracket has a three bolt pattern and is securely welded to the top of the sign. The uh, rigid mounting brackets are for the single sided signs with the pole towards the back of the sign. The Street Bright sign as we hit the market is UL certified with FDOT and NEMA ratings. Our sign with its LED bulbs, which have a 500% longer life than other illumination options, are 20% more efficient than other options. Uh, the double sided sign, the single sided sign can be upgraded to be a double sided sign. Our sign has a light sensor to turn the light off during the day and back on at night. Uh, there's a service or a power entry point on the side of the unit. Uh, to access the electronics on the sign, uh, first we'll turn the power off. There's a latch at the top. I hook the latch. Up and out on the sign. There's power supply for the top, power supply for the bottom set of lights. The lights themselves can be replaced. There's a nut on the inside. The nut is undone. There's a quick disconnect connector down here. The light bar slides out. A new one can then be installed and then reconnected with the quick connect connector. Uh, the 120 volts for the power coming in to the power supplies can easily be disconnected here. And the main power can be disconnected. There's a ground wire connecting them. Uh, if any of the power supplies need replaced, it's a matter of just replacing two screws or pulling two screws, replace the power supply, and then put the two screws back in and then reconnect each one of the power supplies. To reinstall the end cap, 
There's a tab at the bottom. Wire is just dressed inside the rail, inside the channel. Up at the bottom. And three-ply power. 